Welcome back, everybody. I'm back again. This time we're going to do a deep dive on the Sega Genesis. We are going to go over my library of shoot 'em ups or shmups or shoot them ups. Uh, it's kind of a fun genre to <laughs> have a little bit uh, different uh, sayings for, names for. They're all kind of ridiculous. Uh, shooters, whatever. Boomer shooters, is that is that a thing? Or is that like, like uh, Doom and stuff like that? It's hard to keep up with all the different lingo these days. Uh, retro gaming has its own language, which is just crazy. But anyways, enough of me rambling. Uh, we're going to go over my collection. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see here. I've got a lot of shooter or shoot. I'm going to refer to them as shoot 'em ups from now on uh, for the rest of the video. So stay tuned. Here we go. We're going to go through them all. Uh, this may be a two-parter, just throwing it out there because I got a lot of games for the Sega Genesis because it is fantastic. Go play Sega Genesis. That's the main message here. Uh, all right, we're just going to do one by one. I'm going to give my thoughts. I might throw up some quick gameplay so you guys can get a feel of what it's like. I'm going to talk about some standouts. Okay, more rambling. Sorry, I'm done. Starting off with my loose collection, we got terrible box art on the label, white label, paper labels, people call it, but it's Wings of War. And this is a recent uh, pickup, uh, probably in the last 90 days or so. Fantastic game. It's been on my want list for a while. I've played a couple stages. Love it. Great game. Uh, next up. Uh, this is like a hybrid shooter. This is a, oh, it's like a mech slash shoot 'em up uh, game. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it other than it's a hybrid shooter, uh, but it's really hard. It's tough. I picked this up from the Game Shark. Shout out to uh, old school games and stories uh, out there. The Game Shark. Uh, appreciate the trade on this one. Uh, but it's Ranger X. Um, I just got that one loose. I played it a little bit. It's tough, but I like what I've played so far. Uh, next loose game is Task Force Harrier EX. Not a great title uh, as far as the name goes. It's okay. It's very middle of the line. It's a military type shooter. Um, but not not near the the tier of a few uh, other military type shooters I'll mention. Uh, but it's an okay game. Um, it's I'll put it in the solid category. Okay, these are in no particular order, so we're just kind of shooting from the hip here. Uh, this one, Elemental Master. This is a great game. It's tough, but man, is it good music so fantastic the power-ups are great the the gameplay is tight uh you're on foot instead of a spaceship great game not a ton of people talk about it uh i'm on the hunt for a case and a manual at some point i've got the vinyl recently uh i teased the short that i'm going to be putting that up at some point <laughs> Flash, shout out to Retro Projections for fixing this cart for me. Uh, this cart made a long trip across the country. I purchased it from a buddy who lives in Oklahoma. He shipped it to me in North Dakota. Then I shipped it to a friend in Kansas who fixed it for me because it didn't work. <laughs> and then back to me in North Dakota. Uh, so this cart's made a journey. Arrow Flash. It's okay. Not great, but good haven't given its fair share yet i need to play it more okay that is the loose copies now let's uh oh speaking of uh my friend in uh uh retro projections this is his highly recommended title and this is granada some people call it granada x because <laughs> the design on the title there uh but this one i picked up on the mega drive uh, because it was just frankly a lot cheaper. So I got a nice complete copy of Granada 
and I've played it a bunch. It's fun. It's super fun. It's hard to explain. It's like you're on like a grid almost and you're like a tank type thing. It Go play it. it it's a fun game. Uh, not very many people talk about it either. Um, but I just pop it in the Game Genie or just put it in my Mega SG and there you go. Uh, where do I put all these? Um, well, let's just make a big stack here and see if we can play some Django with the Sega Genesis games. They're durable. Uh, okay, Steel Empire. This was recommended to me by a buddy on Discord. Uh, my original Discord server I joined, Green Bean Discord. Um, and it was introduced to me as a beginner shmup. And he was right. This is very approachable is the right word. Uh, you can play as a blimp, which is interesting. It's got a huge sprite, so it's maybe not the greatest, but it's pretty powerful. Uh, missing the manual in this copy. Uh, uh, Josh play more games. Uh, I think I did a trade with him for the case. So I've got an original case anyway. Um, great game. Great game. Very good. Highly recommended for those who are wanting to dip their toes into the shmup genre. Next up, oh, this one's unique. Nobody talks about this one either. Biohazard Battle. This one is not like super hard. Uh, shmups get a bad rap because of their difficulty, but it's mostly just like repetitive, like like you need to practice. Think think Contra um, or like Ninja Gaiden even. You have to, you've got to practice. You got to, what do the kids say? You got to get good. Um, but yeah super atmospheric um as far as like the the gameplay the graphics and especially the music there is some weird synthy tunes coming out of the yamaha 2612 on this bad boy deep cut uh let's go in sector x this one's a weird one you're like a bug i will catch that bug one um haven't played it that much uh cheesy stuff on the back here they're gonna bug you to death compared to these guys killer bees are about as scary as a butterfly <laughs> they were trying everything for marketing back then uh this one's just okay Oh, moving along. We're going pretty fast, but I got a lot of games. Uh, let's do somewhat of a troll here. <laughs> Shmup? Tailspin? Fantastic cartoon from the Disney afternoon back in the day, but is this even... On paper, this should be a shmup, right? Oh, man, I'm missing the manual on this. What in the world? Um, I don't think I've played this much. I'm kind of a Disney guy though, and Capcom and stuff. I don't think Capcom developed this, but um, yeah, from what I remember, it's not good, and it's not really a shmup either. Uh, okay, modern release uh, or modern re-release, Gaieres. Um, I pre-ordered the uh, what's the name of this company again? Retrobit. I pre-ordered. Oh yeah. This guy, this one's got the, got the dude from the nineties with the plain white t-shirt and the mullet. Look at that mullet. Anyway, I, I wasn't a huge fan that they released this with that plain white t-shirt. Like it's a terrible t-shirt design, but whatever it, it's still a cool package. Uh, a little on the harder side, but it's really good. I like it. It's a good, it's a good game. Forgotten World, arcade game, I believe, ported to the Sega Genesis. Kind of jank controls because it was it was designed for the arcade. 
But they did the best with what they had back in like, this is an earlier title. So you can't dog it too hard. I haven't played it a lot and I've heard it's great two player. Shout out, give it in the comments if you played this two player and I, I think I got to check it out. Also, a word of caution on Forgotten Worlds. If you try to play with a six button controller, you got to do some stand on your head, push start, hold the mode button while you flip the, I don't know. Google it. I, it'll go straight to game over if you don't. Um, there is ways around it though. Uh, moving on. Let's, uh, let's mention a few games that are shoot 'em ups, but not really, at least in my book. G lock air battle. This is more of a fighter like, like jet fighter sim. I think, I don't know. It's cheap. It's not great. I bought it for the black box set. Great music. Oh, great, great music. Matt Furness, composer. Ooh. But I haven't really played it, but I'm guessing it's like simulation games of uh, like flight sims back then on a console. Not, not good, but I have it. It's in my collection. Oh, this one. Galaxy Force 2. Fantastic box art. Uh, somewhat early title, 8 meg arcade action. So this is, once again, a arcade game that came across the Sega Genesis. No manual on this one either. Um, it's like a scroller, or a, I don't even know what you call it, when the everything's coming right at the screen, like a pseudo first-person perspective. But yeah, you can see your character, I think. I don't know. I, I need to play this more. I don't really give it much credit. I, just okay. We got some good ones left. Let's uh, let's hit one of my favorites because we're going no particular order. Oh, I wish I had the manual for this. I don't though. Lightning Force, aka Thunder Force Four. Why they messed up the naming in the US release, no idea. Masterclass, I used the word masterclass a lot in my last video, no idea why. It's just vocab word of the week. Uh, an absolute masterclass on shmups. And you need you need the, the blast processing for this bad boy. This game is fast and furious and doesn't miss a beat and it's awesome. Oh, this is a kind of an unexpected pickup. This is Space Invaders 91. 91, what a great year. It was a great year, 1991. I was only six years old. Uh, it's a modern take, and I say modern meaning like 16-bit Genesis days. Uh, modern take on Space Invaders. Look at this copy. This copy is minty fresh. Oh, man, this... I, I hope my camera can pick this up. Look at this cartridge. Let's see if it focuses. That thing is, looks brand new. This one's kind of hard to find. Um, yeah, it's mostly stat, I think it's static screen, single, single screen action. Ooh, okay. Here's another one of those, just like Galaxy Force, Space Harrier 2, earlier title, um, ported from the arcade, I believe. It's like a scalar type, you know, uh, you're flying around uh, with enemies and objects flying right at you. It's just okay. It's nothing great. I mainly got it for the black box set. Uh... One more from the early Sega days, and that is Super Thunderblade with a helicopter flying through all those big buildings and such. It's a scaler again as well, earlier technology coming from the arcade, I believe. I need a manual on that one too. I do like the cover art. It's kind of neat. There's, I like the, I like the painted, uh, 
the painted scenery down there by the tank and stuff. It's pretty, pretty detailed. If you look at it for a little while, pretty cool. Okay. Ah, oh, we are down to all cream of the crop here. I am the cream, yeah, the cream of the crop. And there is no one that does it better. Toa plan, or what, when you hear the word Toa plan, I think of fantastic shooters on the Sega Genesis. I mean, they did arcade too. But man, did they nail those those ports to the to the Sega Genesis? Talking Truxton, I cannot say it as good as the classic game room Mark dude, but Truxton, new microphone here, Truxton. I got a big old ugly blockbuster sticker on my copy, but you know, still a great game. Old, this is like this is early. This is like '89 or something. But man, does it hold up so good, so good. Hmm. Just great. All right, Toa Plan. Let's keep going with the Toa Plan. Hellfire. Great, great, great game. I got this for a Secret Santa gift last year. If you watch my channel, you know who you are, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had to go big or go home. That was That was the theme on that one. <laughs> and that individual will get that joke. Uh, but look at this crispy copy I got. Okay, Michael. Regular or extra crispy? You, get, you can just hit a button. I don't remember if it's A, B, or C, but you change, like, the direction of your shots. And this is, like, before any power-ups. You can, like, shoot ahead. You can shoot behind. You can shoot at, like, funny angles and stuff. It's kind of unique, and it's really good. Oh, music is so good. Okay. Enough, uh fanboying over that one who okay i think we're down to top we're down to top three sega genesis shoot them ups you guys ready for this two toa plan one uh techno soft okay we're gonna go uh yeah let's go number three out of that batch I'm just so nervous about that stack right now. Look at this. Look at this cover art. Look at this cover art. Thunder Force 3. Now, some of you might be going, why would you not pick Lightning Force, Lightning Force, or Thunder Force 4? I don't know. I just like Lightning Force 3 better. Sorry. Oh, man. I got to get a manual for this. Shout out to the poor man's retro game room. I got this one from you. I appreciate it, brother. And... I hope you get this back in your collection because it belongs in your collection. You need to track down a manual, but great, great, great game. A little on the easier side. It's still not easy, though. Shmups are not easy. They are not for the faint of heart. Okay, that gets stacked here nicely. If I don't make any sudden movements, I think we're safe. Okay. Who man. Top two. I don't... This could go back and forth depending on the day you talk to me. But I'm going to say this is my second favorite. Toa Plan again. Twin Cobra. Awesome. Awesome game. Oh, the explosions are so satisfying. The weapon upgrades are fantastic. The controls are so tight. Presents a great challenge, but yet you feel like you can do it. You feel like you can pass each stage. Got a nice copy here. This cover art is a little, I don't know. It's a little bland, but it's fine. It's the gameplay just makes it worth it. It's so good. Okay, last one. You guys ready for this? This could change. You know, my opinions on the best shmup on the Sega Genesis are subjective, obviously, and they can change over time. And that's okay for your favorites to change over time. But my number one favorite for my dollars to buy for the Sega Genesis shoot 'em up genre is none other than fire shark kind of a generic name but man great 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 shoot em up Sim very similar to twin cobra uh you know you can definitely tell it's toa plan and the twangy sega genesis sounds out of this game are next level i'll try to insert a little clip for your guys' ears to enjoy, because it's so good. 
And why did they do the white paper label? I... Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. They're like, eh, let's just print a white label and call it a day. Huh. They're like, ah, oh, this, this game's fantastic. We don't need a good label on the cartridge anyways. We'll save some cost. Um, so good. So, so, so good. Uh, oh, you know what, guys? I forgot one thing. After the top one, or top three here, I'm going to very, very carefully sneak over here by the microphone. I'm just going to point to it because I don't want to wreck my setup here. Thunder Force 2. You got to have the trilogy. You got to have all of them. So I've got all of them. I love the box art on that one too. That's why I kind of had displayed that for your viewing pleasure. Um, great game too. It's uh, it's probably not even top 10 out of all these, but it, it's good. It's good. So there you guys have it. Uh, I feel like I should just knock this over for the outtakes, but that would be ridiculous and just not cool for my Sega Genesis collection. But I'm going to try to count these because I did not count these ahead of time. So you guys are going to get a real time, no planning ahead counting of this. It may be kind of boring content, but I'll throw some cool gameplay up while I count or something. So you guys can get a final number. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'm going to guess first. My guess is 26 games. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I was close. I was close. We got an even 24 shoot 'em ups for the Sega Genesis. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because I'm going to try to release more videos. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Okay, now what? Hi how do I get out of here? Uh, okay, we're doing the, the top ones here. Okay. Oh, man. Of course, they do with the chin. You got, that's the only way to carry it all. These, look at all these Sega Genesis games I have, guys. Look at, just for fun, I'm gonna add more. I can carry more than this. Should I do more? I'm gonna do all of them. All right, I'm gonna go put these back on my shelves now. See ya. Next time we'll do 3D platformers for the Game Gear. Or light gun games for the PS4.